Good. Then help me count it down in three, two, one, go. I'm Steve Pugh, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were designed and supervised by trained professionals. They're extremely dangerous and should never be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. Producer Julia and the rest of the crew, we'd like to welcome you to a very special live edition of Fear Factor. Earlier today, we recruited park guests, people just like you, to come face their fears in some pretty dangerous and nasty stunts. Are you ready to meet them? Yeah. Put your hands together for our contestants. I want you to give it up for Frank, Jared, Glenn. Sarah and Noel. Big round of applause for all our contestants. The six of you have been chosen to prove that fear is not a factor for you as you compete to become champion of this edition of Fear Factor Live. In order to win, you'll need to complete three extreme stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you're too afraid to attempt a stunt, you're eliminated. If you try a stunt and cannot complete it, you're gone. But if you succeed, not only will you move on to the next round, but you'll be that much closer to winning bragging rights of Fear Factor Live! <laughs> Contestants, are you ready? Follow the crew up the stairs, they'll get you set up for the first time. And while they're getting set up, we took a few interviews of them backstage before the show. Let's hear what they had to say. My name is Frank from San Francisco, California. I'm here because I'm trying to impress all the girls watching. My name is Sarah. I'm from Mississippi. And I'm going to win this because I'm a swimmer and I can beat all these guys. Hi, I'm Noelle. I'm from Vinton, Iowa. And I'm going to win because I'm a Gryffindor and that's what we do. I'm Adam. I'm from Michigan and I'm going to win because heights are scared of me. I'm Jared from Louisiana, and I'm a beast, and there's just nothing I can't do. Hi, I'm Glenn, and I'm from the UK, and I'm going to win Fear Factor for the people in the UK. Just to remind everyone what they're in for, let's take a look at these highlights of the hit NBC series, Fear Factor. seeing what it's like up there. See some sweaty hands already. Okay, we're all set. Take it away, Steven. Contestants, can you hear me? Listen up carefully. This first stunt's called the Endurance Hang. You're holding on to a metal bar suspended by a single cable. Hold on tight, because when I say go, that bottom drops out. You'll be left dangling above an unforgiving ground. Now the four of you that hold on the longest will move on to the next round. 
the rest will be eliminated. And the one of you that can hold on longer than anyone else will have an advantage going into that second round. Oh, by the way, there's one more thing. Yeah, all their first volunteer, Daniel, everybody give a big round of applause for helping us out. After 15 seconds, Daniel will throw this lever, which will turn on some industrial fans. They'll blast our competitors with some pretty serious wins. Now, is it dangerous? Not necessarily, but annoying, definitely. Contestants, are you ready? I suggest you hold on tight. Let's bring the fear in! Three, two, one, go! So for the whole night of the third break, seemed to have lost his grip as soon as we got started. I don't know if the heat of humidity or maybe the ladies' man just didn't know what he was getting into, but we're coming up to that first right, Daniel, second. throw the lever. Here comes that wind. There comes that wind starting to kick in, but some people's hands are starting to slip down. Who's going to drop next? And it's her! To catch the win at 37.1 seconds. Respectful time, given the heat and humidity, anything could have happened. And our record here is actually a 2 minutes and 21 seconds held by a 55 year old grandmother. But we won't hold it against our competitors, especially not Frank here. Frank, what happened up there, buddy? As soon as the gate fell down, something went wrong. What happened? And then, uh, I had this I can't stop studying, man. So I'm really nervous. So. No, it's, it's, it's all right. You know, it's, it's a different phase when you're up there and holding that. Glenn, come step over here for me. UK, I, I don't know. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, free to step free, man. Yeah, I should have all of them. Well, gentlemen, you, you fought hard, but unfortunately, we got to send you down the walk of shame. Right down that way, gentlemen. I know you hate to see him go. But keep it going for our semi-finalists. Let's hear it. Bring it along. Sarah. Sarah. Adam. And our winner, Jared. Big round of applause for Jared. Step forward. Man's got your back, Jared. Beautiful job holding out up there. How did it feel hanging from the sky like that? Oh, it was a little scary. It was scary, but... You held tight. Yeah, you got the... I saw my kids, so I did it for them. You did for the kids. Good man. But now, because you won, you get the advantage of choosing your partner for the next round. Now, keep in mind, if the two of you win, that means you're going head-to-head -head in the finals. So choose wisely. Who's it going to be? Sarah. Sarah! Now, why Sarah? She, got, she has a lot of courage. She got a lot of courage? I needed to help me through this next one. All right, well, let's see how you guys do. That means Adam and Noel, the two of you are on a team together. Everyone, follow my man Mark. He's going to get you set up for the semifinals. Round of applause for our semifinalists. All right, now when they get all ready for their next challenge, I'd like to introduce everyone to Janine. Now, she's about to undergo what we call the desert hat ordeal. Drumminus of the is one as punishment. They would bury a person all the way up to their neck in the sand and leave them to the mercy of the desert. Janine, put on your safety equipment. Have a seat. Come on over here. We're gonna strap you down right here for you, Janine, and then we're gonna strap you into the chair because uh, we're doing this for your own safety because in just a little bit, our Critter Wrangler, Haley, everyone say, hey, Haley! Hey. She's gonna be putting some creepy crawlers on top of Janine's head. And to find out which ones we use, we turn to the Wheel of Fear. On this wheel are some people's worst nightmares. I'm talking about hissing cockroaches, snakes, tarantulas, and of course the Emperor Scorpion, the nastiest of the bunch and by far my personal favorite. Of course, we have Janine's sister Azure with us. And Azure, come on up here. It's up to you to determine your sister's fate. Yeah, the thunder rolls for you, Azure. You get to pull that lever, make every sibling proud. Big heart spin, hopefully she doesn't get scorpions, but audience, what do you want to see? A couple of people out there yelling scorpions for me. Thank you so much. They are truly one of my favorite creatures. And you know what? Now let's just go ahead and finish oh, that up. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, they are my favorite. 
Janine, I've decided we need to get the Emperor Scorpions because they are the coolest. Thumbs up, yes, because they're actually nicknamed the Widowmaker. That makes them that much better. Now we're gonna place about five of them on top of your head, Janine, so just sit tight and you'll be set. But let me know, are you ready for this? Boy, I'm sure you're not in the woods yet. She's gonna need some moral support. Come on over here and help your sister out. Looks like we've got everything we need, so audience, help me count it down in three, three two, one, go! Jimmy's gonna hold time real quick and make sure that first scorpion lands on top of her head, yes! So far, so good, she's got a big smile for now, but that's gonna change as we place more of these scorpions on top of her brow. If you wanna stay still, Jimmy. She's cringing a little bit, knowing that they're moving around on her forehead, top of her head. Sense that fear, so you do want to stay very still. That's right, they know that there's a little hostile environment, they may get hostile too. She's still doing a great job. We're coming down to the last one. She's done it, folks. Get up for Janine! Yeah. Yeah, Janine did a great job. She did. Now, Janine, again, very important that you do stay still while they're being removed because sometimes they like to latch on to things. That's right, you give them a nice home environment like your hair or your ear, or your ear hair, they're gonna hold on to whatever they can. But Jenny's doing a great job staying nice and calm as we get them all out of the box. It looks like she's only had that last couple left. There we go, she's done it, folks. Big round of applause for Jenny! Well done. Oh, by the way, there's one more thing. Yeah, we're not done with Jenny just yet. Inside this steel box is the Mac Daddy of all creepy crawlers. I'm talking about the Goliath bird-eating tarantula. Oh, you guys know about this? This is one of the largest spiders in the world with a leg span of 10 inches. It eats birds, oh, lizards, oh, snakes, even high. bats. Hi. It does this. What? what are you doing? You didn't mention this. I did mention it earlier. Yeah, Haley, she was nice enough to bring it out here so we could all see it. Okay, I think it's going to be didn't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about it. Um, no, that's fine because I think the audience would love to see this guy, wouldn't you? Wow. All right. You know, uh, kind of put me in a predicament with her middle of the show. Maybe I, I just want to run it by Janine and see if she's okay with it. Yeah, that. it's fine. I know the weather's changing, but it's okay. Janine, we're only going to place one of these tarantulas in there because that's all that can fit in the box. Wow. You okay? She's oh good. Gosh. Thumbs okay. up. Let's make this happen. It's really brave. Now, all joking aside, we're going to take this nice and slow because we don't like to agitate our critters or our. Oh, what's your screen? What's your screen? It's okay. It's not real. <laughs> Plastic. Works every time. <laughs> Come on back. That's her heart. Round of applause for Janine, though. She proved that fear is not effective for her. semi-finals, I'm going to split the audience up in half. From my center line, all the way to the side, I want all of you to cheer for the red team of Sarah and Jerry. Let's hear them! From my center line, all the way to this side, I want you to cheer for the blue team of Noel and Adam. Let's hear it! This next stunt's going to be done in two parts. When I say go, my runners will make their way to the covered tank. Julio, what do we got for them? Check it out! Carnivorous eels. That's why we call this the eel tank relay. Runners, when I say go, you make your way to the tank. You will plunge your unprotected arm inside and retrieve a beanbag. Make your way back to your mark, tossing that beanbag to your partner who will catch it in the bucket. The team with the most at the end of 30 seconds will have an advantage going into the second part of this stunt. And I think we've got everything we need, so runners, on your mark. And audience, let's get this party started in three, two, one, go! Hey, you got a run in there. Down through those eagles. Make sure they don't kick you again. They get here. Blue side with the first one here. Let's hunt. Just missing out. And on the red. They're fighting their way through those. They're grabbing more defense as they make their way to the bus. Beautiful catch on the side. That's exactly what you want to see. They're going to keep taking up the pace. As they're going to keep counting. Let's hear some of the down coming down to the last 
official count to see how we did here. All they kind of counted out. We've got three for the blue team, three for the red team. It's a tie. Neither side gets the advantage. Now for the second part of our stunt, we're going to give both sides three beanbags to toss down to their partners. Now we're going to raise up our catchers into the air. When I say go, they'll be released into a pendulum swing, tossing down those beanbags to their partners who will catch them in the bucket. The team with the most at the end is moving on to the finals, and the other team's going to be eliminated. And oh, by the way... Beanbags. Oh, come on, we can do better. Than yeah, that. I'm not feeling beanbags. Do you mind if we change it? Please. Let's change it to Rancid Octopus. That is much, much better. All right, crew, let's prep the team. Runners, join me down front. Julie's going to take Adam and Jared, crisscross them in front of their partners, and tether them off to the wall. We do this for two reasons. One, limits their mobility, makes it that much harder for them to catch. Two, gives us a chance to maybe get some octopus into our audience. That's right, you guys sitting right here in my corner section along the center line and right over here on this side, you are our designated octopus catchers in case our contestants get a little too extreme. Just keep your eyes open and your mouths closed unless you like a little sushi in the afternoon. Uh. All right, we're ready on both sides, you. Let's hoist them up now. As I said, neither side got the advantage, so they will both have three octopi to toss down to their partners, so each toss will have to count if they want to make their way to the finals, and you know both sides want to see that way. All right, we are ready to go. Let's start chucking cephalopod in three, three two, two, one, go! go. Big swing for both sides, huge toss, way into the I told you guys, keep your eyes open. You never know what's going to happen. Here comes that another talk. Beautiful catch on both teams. Now they're getting in sync. We're coming into our last possible throw. Big throw on both sides. That is it. It's over. We have a tie. Now, according to Fear Factor Live rules, it stipulates that whoever won the endurance hang will automatically take their partner to the finals. So give it up for the red team. Jared and Sarah. Jared, great job. You knew exactly how you wanted to play this game. You won the endurance hang. You took Sarah into this one. She helped you out to make your way to the finals. How are you feeling? Still pumped? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling How's the great. beast? It's still ready to be unleashed? I told you, I'm the beast. There's nothing I can do. All right, but again, you are going up against Sarah. Now, Sarah's already claimed that she's all right as a swimmer, but I don't know if that's going to help her out in any of the future, uh, future endeavors. Do you have something that you haven't quite shown us yet? Well, <laughs> I, I can't let you know. I have to hey. He's going to keep everything secret. Sarah, you made it. You're going into the finals. How are you feeling? I'm ready. You ready to beat up Jared at the end? You think you can handle it? Oh, I can get him. You can get him. Girl power all the way? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see him in action. You too. Follow my man Mark. He's going to get you set up for the finals. Round of applause for our finalists. Let's hear from him. I'm so sorry. Go ahead, turn this way. Adam, I'm going to start with you. What happened out there, man? I just missed too many bags. The arm wasn't there today. Yeah, the arm wasn't holding out yet. It's one thing when heights are a factor, but now throwing right. kind of messed you up. We understand, Noel. I don't know any words you want to say to the people out there. Go, Sarah. <laughs> Go, Sarah. Woo! She's Go, Sarah. Beautiful. Well, the two of you were so glad to have you, but unfortunately, right, we got to send you down the walk of shame. back on to you, see if you have the stomach for this next challenge. Help me welcome our players. We have Bruce and Hassan. Give it up for the two of them. Woo! Now, this is a competition we get a lot of questions about. It just wouldn't be Fear Factor if we didn't have something interesting to eat. That's why we call this one, Guess What's Crawling to Dinner. Let's take a look what's on our menu, shall we? All right. Our first course, we have some seafood surprise. The succulent combination of rotten oysters, clams, fish heads and tails, they've all been marinating together in their own juices. And it's good. Huh? Yeah, Bruce is giving it the okay. I'm not. That's disgusting. Bruce has a good poker face. All right, next up, we call this mystery meat medley. This is the remnants from the meat packing plant down the road. They sent them over to us from the floor. Yeah. <laughs> 
You tried to smile his way through that one, didn't work. So what else you got over here, Julie? Because I'm going to lay you washing down. I brought you a finely aged sour milk. Is that whole milk? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's a sight to see. Oh, actually, hold on, Julia, before you close that off. I'm just not sure that's enough. So you think I'd be kidding me? That's absolutely disgusting. Yeah, it's pretty gross, but I think, I, I don't know, it's just not Fear Factor Live. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're in a theme park. Okay. We're not going to make people eat what we can make them eat on television. Come on. No. I think they should eat what they eat on TV. Don't you think they should eat what they eat on TV? Yeah. <laughs> All right, just for you guys. Oh, by the way, there's one more thing. I did bring along a little Fear Factor party mix. The disgusting combination of crickets. Thank you so much. That's why I brought these out. The official Fear Factor Live Chuck Buckets. Alright, that's good. Yeah, she blended that to a fine smoothie for you. Not really. <laughs> what a sight. Contestants, this is how it's gonna work. You're gonna leave your cups and your palms flat on the table. When I say go, you grab your cup, you chuck it down, you open your mouth to make sure you're not saving anything for later. If you pass, puke, or pass out, you forfeit your cup, but the first of you to chuck it down will be champion. And it looks like we've got everything we need. So hands flat on the table. And audience, let's count down to chow down in three, two, one. Oh, no, I get what's happening. So, Tom, you get our awesome I ate a bug mug so you can make your own smoothies at home. Give it up for both of our diners. That was a really close race. You guys, can take your seats. Looks like we're all set for the final season. They were once partners. They are now going head to head in our finals, which we call the Stuntman's Challenge. Competitors, turn around, take a look at the wall. When I say go, you're going to make your way up your ladder. You're going to release four yellow flags along the way. That fourth flag is on the windowsill, so use it to climb across to get to the red flag on the fireman's pole. Grab that flag, slide down the pole, and make your way to the convertible. Using the key on that flag, you're going to start the ignition, and the car will rise up into the air. Once in the air, you make your way over the windshield and release three more flags at the front of the car. Crawl back over the windshield and grab the rocket launcher. The first of you to take that rocket launcher, aim it at the bullseye behind me, and fire away will be champion of this edition of Fear Factor Live! Sarah, Jerry, touch gloves. Now make your way to your wall. All right, bring in everyone's seats. Oh, by the way, because this is live, we've got to mess with our competitors. Just one more time. I guess I've got a team on either side of the stage. It'll be their job to pound our competitors with these ball cannons because that is what we call entertainment here at Fear Factor Live. I know the rain's kind of coming in a little bit, so I think I'm going to be ready here. Sarah, are you ready? Jared, you ready? Audience, are you ready? way up to that first flag, but Sarah not to be counted out. Swimmer from Mississippi grabbing out to that flag, and she's got it up. Jared's now with his second flag, making his way to the third one. Sarah's got to get that second flag. She just sort of missed it, but she's making her stride as she goes up to that third. Those the ball cannons are pummeling each of our contestants as they make their way to the final flag. Jared's got the red flag. He's making his way down the fireman pole. Sarah needs to pick up space. She wants to catch up with Sarah, though. She's fighting hard. Ladies, give her some encouragement. Now Jared's getting into that car, trying to get that car started so he can make his way to the top of our arena. He's got a good job so far, but now Sarah, not to be counted out just yet. Hopping into that convertible, she's going to make her way up as well. Now Jared's going to see, if you can see, now audience, that car is slanted. If he slips and falls, 
it's game over for either one. But Sarah now making her way to the top of our arena as well. Two very strong competitors. Let's hear from both of us. Oh, and we got a chair and go for it. He's got to release all three of those flags in order to move on to the next part. He's got one. champion congratulations ladies and gentlemen if you think you have what it takes to come face your fears we should be casting one more time right out front an hour and ten minutes before our show come see if you're a champion as well i'm your host steve pugh i'm your producer julia riley thank you for joining us here at fear that